After two years of sitting at the bottom of my train shelf, 8304 is finally ready to run. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ars Trains. My name's Corey and in today's video I got a treat for everybody. Before we get rolling, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please make sure you press that red subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos of videos that are just like this and the many other awesome fun train videos I do featuring real life trains, model trains, live steam, and so much more. So make sure you don't miss out and all that cool stuff. I'll keep saying it till we get there, but my goal for this year is to hit 1,000 subscribers, which is a really far distance, but you can help me out a lot by hitting that red subscribe button below because only you can make that happen. Now, for some of my very old, old subscribers, you may be able to remember, oh, this guy. My MPC era Baltimore and Ohio 8304 Atlantic class locomotive. And like I said, I use this train in a lot of my old 2018 videos. In fall of 2018, 8304 had like a major internal breakdown, which really scared me. You couldn't run it without the locomotive severely sparking, like unnaturally. The sparking would come out of the engine, not the rollers. And the side rods would fall off no matter what you did. And on top of that, the boiler wasn't sitting right. It was sitting at like, you know, the front of the boiler was sitting higher up and the cab was sitting downward. So I put it away in 2018 because I didn't think anybody would want to see it. And at the time I just didn't have the passion for Lionel trains that I do now. So I put it away again for two years. And about a week or two ago, I rediscovered it and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this guy. And I know you guys would love to see her fixed and running. So I did just that. Yesterday I got 8304 back in the mail from my Lionel train guy. And let me tell you right off the bat, she works fantastic. Fantastic. And I mean, now I'm at that phase in my life where I really don't care if it's a common or uncommon locomotive. I love all my Lionels the same. And I love to watch them run because what fun is it staring at a still train versus a moving one? Anyways, a little about 8304 before we get started. 8304 is an MPC era Lionel 442 Atlantic class locomotive. Made in the early 70s and has, like most Lionels, lots of cool features. She's got an operating headlight, smoke unit, mighty sound of steam tender, and a three possession E unit. Since it's MPC, the detailing isn't spectacular like an early post-war or a late pre-war steamer, but I like its metal shell. It has decent detailing, and I think all of the moving parts and small little decals make it a fun and very affordable little engine for being most of the time under $100. Also, I guess it kind of has a bit of a story to it too, because I believe, I'm not sure 100% on it, but I think this is the last train my grandma grandfather ever bought. I believe he got it in 2009 or 2010 and I have fond memories of playing with that guy on his Lionel layout in his basement. And I guess it's special to me to kind of knowing that it's the end of my grandfather's era of collecting Lionel trains. Anyways, now that you know just as much as I do, let's get her rolling.
Well, that one was fun, wasn't it? I mean, doesn't she move great? The tender sounds so good, and the loco itself moves surprisingly well. Like, when I put my fingers on it just to kind of roll it back and forth, there's little to no resistance, which is kind of surprising. So, I guess that means hopefully it'll run for a long, long time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. I'll see you guys in the next video, so stay tuned. Bye-bye.